And the president has ordered a U.S. trade representative to consider an additional $100 billion in trade tariffs against China. CBS reporter Weijia Zhang explains. President Trump dismissed the possibility of a trade war with China during a radio interview that aired Friday morning. We've already lost a trade war. We don't have a trade war. We've lost a trade war. And now it's $500 billion in deficits and a theft of $300 billion in uh, intellectual property. So you can't have this. But the threat of a trade war became more real after President Trump announced he is considering an additional $100 billion in new tariffs against China. It's the latest escalation in an economic tit for tat. China has already threatened $50 billion of tariffs on U.S. exports, such as soybeans, pork, and aircraft. That came in response to President Trump's proposed $50 billion in tariffs on Chinese goods earlier this week. The White House called the Chinese tariffs an unfair retaliation. China says they are appropriate and warns it will respond again if necessary. China's foreign ministry said in a statement, we do not want to fight, but we are not afraid to fight a trade war. Blame China. White House Don't economic advisor Larry Don't Kudlow says there's still time for the two countries to negotiate a deal. Hopefully. This will have a very happy ending. I'm still optimistic, by the way, that the Chinese recognize that the rest of the world is on our side. In the meantime, President Trump has ordered his agricultural secretary to find a way to protect American farmers who may be impacted by the Chinese tariffs. Weijia Zhang, CBS News, the White House.